Hey, did you just pass here? Yes. Yes, of course. I brought a trunk down from the attic. A trunk? Yes. Were we here? I couldn't say. Mm. Well, maybe we're not here now. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. Well, do you see anything? No. No. Who that? Who that? Who that say who that when I say who that? Who said who that when I say who that? What's the matter with you? That's just an echo. Just an echo. See that? What I tell you. There's nothing to be scared of. That's what you think. Boys, here we go again. Oh, wait for me. I, Montague Brook, being of sound mind, do hereby make my last will and testament. I hereby bequeath my castle in Goblin's Knob and all the treasures therein contained to my beloved niece, Hilary Brook, on the condition that she shall spend the night of the date of the reading of this will in the castle. If for any reason she should fail to spend the entire night in the castle, the estate shall become the property of the trustee, my lifelong friend, Attorney Claude Melonhead. Spend the night in the castle? Why, that place has been haunted for 20 years. I'd, I'd be afraid. Then you refuse to spend the night there? Ah, uh, just a minute. Miss Brook will spend the night in the castle. And Mr. Costello and myself will be there to see that no harm comes to her. Very well. If you choose to challenge the supernatural to take your life in your hands, you're perfectly welcome to try it. Here is the key to the haunted castle. Hello? Hello? There's nothing to it, Louie. Listen. Hello? Hello? Go ahead, try it. It's fun. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> Take it easy, please. Where are you going? I don't like the echoes. You don't like the echoes. Are you sure that's echoes? Certainly they're echoes. Let me see it then. Go ahead, look. Listen. Here. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, wait a minute, watch it. Uh -huh. Go ahead, try it. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Go ahead, try it. There you are. Uh -huh. That's it. During the 1940s, when America was in the midst of war and economic problems, Hollywood used the supernatural not only to make us laugh, but to better understand our own lives. There is no finer example of this than in Thornton Wilder's Pulitzer Prize winning play, Our Town. One can go back in memory and live each of those days over again. And there's a wonderful speech in Thornton Wilder's uh, Our Town, where Emily has died and she's allowed to come back to Earth for one day. There's Mama coming downstairs to make breakfast. Mama. Oh, I can't bear it. Why did they ever have to get old? Mama, I'm here. I'm grown up. Oh, I love you all. Everything. I can't look at everything hard enough. And she can pick any day she wants. So she picks, um, I think she picks a birthday because she thinks it won't be painful. And what happens is she comes back, her ghost comes back, and she begins to realize that Mama, look at me. Please look at me just for one minute as if you really see me. Shh, Mama. Twelve years have gone by. I'm dead. I married George Gibbs, Mama. Wally's dead, too. Mama, his appendix burst on a cabbing Dr. Crawford notch. We felt just terrible about it, don't you remember? 
just for a moment now we're all together. Mama, let's be happy just for a moment. Let's look at one another. And at the end of it, she says, Oh, Earth, you're too wonderful for anyone to ever realize you. Does anyone ever realize life while they live it? I'm your guardian angel. Yeah, yeah, I know Frank Kepper's It's a Wonderful Life shows us the importance our life has on the world around us. Jimmy Stewart's guardian angel teaches him what his home life would be like had he never existed. Well, then why am I seeing all these strange things? Don't you understand, George? It's because you were not born. Well, if I wasn't born, who am I? You're nobody. You have no identity. Uh, what do you mean, no identity? My name's George Bailey. There is no George Bailey. You have no papers, no cards, no driver's license. No 4F card, no insurance policy. You've been given a great gift, George. A chance to see what the world would be like without you. Tommy! Pete! Hey, Jenny, Susan, where are you? They're not here, George. You have no children. Where are What have you done? All right, put up your hands. No fast moves. Come on out here, both of you. Bert! Thank heaven you're here. Back there. Bert! What's happened to this house? Wait, where's Mary? Where's my kids? Watch them, Bert. Bert, come on, Ernie, come on, come on. what's the matter with you two guys? You, you, you were here on my wedding night. You both of you stood out there on the porch and sung to us. Don't you remember? I think I better be good. Look, now, why don't you be a good kid and we'll take you into a doctor. Everything's going to be all right now. Bert, now listen to it. Ernie, will you take me over to my mother's I'm house? Sure Bert, listen, that's that fellow there. He says he's an angel. Yeah. He's trying to hit the... I hate to do this to you, bud, but... Ryan George! Ryan George! You take a motion picture like uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, Jimmy Stewart calls on an angel to come and help him, and the angel comes down. Well, that's a supernatural event. And the public accepts it as a matter of course. But actually, I think that all of these areas of the supernatural should be accepted, or at least given credit for being something that, that, that we should all investigate and know more about. Your brother, Harry Bailey, broke through the ice and was drowned at the age of nine. That's a lie. Harry Bailey went to war. He got the Congressional Medal of Honor. He saved the lives of every man on that transport. Every man on that transport died. Harry wasn't there to save them because you weren't there to save Harry. You see, George, you really had a wonderful life. Don't you see what a mistake it would be to throw it away? Clarence! Help me, Clarence! Get me back! Get me back! I don't care what happens to me! Get me back to my wife and kids! Help me, Clarence, please! Please! I want to live again! I want to live again! I want to live again! Please, God, let me live again! <laughs> Hey, George! George! You all right? Hey, what's the matter? Now, get out of here, Bert, or I'll hit you again. Get out of here. What the Sam Hill are you yelling for, George? You... George. Bert, do you know me? Know you? <laughs> you kidding? I've been looking all over town trying to find... Bert! What do you know about this? Merry Christmas! Why is there so much talk of ghosts? the supernatural, the unexplained. Well, we're slow to let go of the people we believe in. Maybe.